is a huge bridge. We often talk about favorite places. We are crossing into the Upper Peninsula. But what about favorite emotions? I love the feeling I get when we travel far from home to a place I've never been before. I began to have that feeling as we crossed Mackinac Bridge into Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Just need to go straight? Yeah. The UP is the northern portion of Michigan's two land masses. For two southerners on a walkabout, even a tiny town like Sault Ste. Marie feels a bit exotic. It's a stone's throw from the Canadian border and we actually stop and camp for a few nights in Ontario. The settlement of Sault Ste. Marie is older than the United States, having been carved out by Native Americans some 500 years ago. Life here is naturally dominated by the Great Lakes. The Sioux Locks is the world's busiest canal in terms of tonnage that passes through it. Sure, we're impressed by the gargantuan boats, but what's really striking is the climate. We're here in July. Back home, the heat index is approaching 115 degrees. But here in the UP, we need our jackets. We use our Airstream as an escape pod that migrates to cooler climates in the summer. But of course, this means that we spend some key holidays away from home. I enjoy travel probably more than most people. We spend a lot of time on the road, but sometimes no matter how much you enjoy travel, there are days when you just want to be back at home in familiar surroundings with the people closest to you. And it usually passes in a day or so, but it is something that I tend to feel on the 4th of July. Doing a great job. The UP borders Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron. Over the years, shipwrecks have claimed many lives. So it's back to the emotions. Yes, we're paying our respects to the dead, but there's something a little unsettling about the experience too. We examine artifacts extracted from watery graveyards, like ghosts we can see and touch. Whitefish Point is the home of a former Coast Guard station. And the lighthouse is the oldest active light on Lake Superior. Working here had to have been a lonely life. There's not much of a town to speak of. There's something about the massive, cold expanse of Lake Superior that brings us closer together. Large portions of the UP remain unspoiled At this point in our travels, we've probably seen more waterfalls than we can count. But waterfalls are like sunsets. No matter how many you've seen, it's always nice to see one more. This one, the upper falls of the Taquamanon River, 
is notable for that peculiar foam that hustles downstream. If we were anywhere near Milwaukee, I'd swear it was beer. I'd rather tow our Airstream across the UP than say Miami or Los Angeles. Today this is mostly timber country, but in the past the UP has been dominated by the mining industry. From those copper and iron mines also emerged a meal. Well, today I'm very excited because we're going to go inside and see some pasties. No, we're going inside to eat a pasty. Pasties. Yeah, it's pronounced pasty. Um, I would like a beef pasty and a chicken. A mere 3% of Michigan's total population actually lives in the UP. They call themselves Upers, and they've created their own unique culture. This traditional workman's lunch is the signature dish of the region. So it turns out that a pasty is not an exotic dance accoutrement. It's sort of a pot pie that you can hold in your hand. That was the best pasty I've ever had in my entire life. When it comes to trying new foods, my approach is to dive right in. We've been to national parks and national forests, but this was our first national lakeshore. The best way to see pictured rocks is from the water. Since our airstream doesn't float, we're lining up like cattle. These days, the nickel tour costs about 32 bucks. Tie them into tight knots. Pictured rocks is artwork on a geological scale. It's like someone sliced a 200-foot swath right out of the earth. Sandstone and minerals serve as paint. Sometimes you just sit back and admire the Rorschach blot of colors. Some of the rock formations have distinctive shapes. This one's called the battleship. There's even a tree that's managed to survive without soil. Its roots bridge the gap back onto land. Next thing you know, we're back at the campground. What was that about sunsets? It's always nice to see one more. Now we're back to those favorite emotions. Let's just say we experienced a few at times like this on Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Available on DVD.